shampooed the carpet. Shut up! Interior hallway night. Norman types while Peter complains about shoes or something. I think I've got something here. Peter says, I've had it, Norman. I came to work for Bruce Willis to write his next big movie, not serve hors d'oeuvres at his Christmas party. No, no, no! That's terrible! Hi, Mr. Willis. It's Peter. Norman and I quit. Also, Carl the custodian quits too. Ha! Shampoo carpets at the homeless shelter, you bastard! Bruce is gonna kill us. Remember Bob from accounting? He quit last month. No one ever saw him again because he quit. God! Memo from Bruce. Must you do this every time? Yeah, it's Bruce's policy. Yeah, well, thanks, Hans. Why don't you take your little mail bucket back to Mail World and mail yourself to hell? Hey, don't shoot the messenger, okay? Hey. It says here that Bruce has been really satisfied with our performance lately. He wants us to write his next project. That's great, guys. Congratulations. Funny ah! story, Bruce. It turns out I invented the polio vaccine. Peter, are you telling lies on people's answering machines again? Curses! I flew too close to the sun! Do you think he'll buy that? With my genius planning and your golden words, he'll never not have bought it. Bruce? Pete! Buddy! Hans? Bruno and I have been sitting up here talking about your message about... He called him quitting Bruno. and that, uh... Hans, you have to get out of there. You don't know what he's capable of. When you die at the hands of Bruce Willis, you die hard. I have an idea for a movie. Cause you're only a man, and a man's got to learn to take it. Try to believe, though the going gets rough, that you gotta hang tough to make it. His Surprise! That butler has his own butler. Double butler! Ah! Hand cramp! Come on, Peter, we gotta finish this script before Bruce finds us. Bruce doesn't scare me. I'm not one to buckle under the weight of another man. Norman, oh! Oh! Oh, God! It's Carl, the custodian. He's been Willis. I mean, killed. <clears throat> it's that I quit. Don't remember. What the hell are you doing? I'm leaving a trail so we don't get lost. Why are you using guns? That's all I can find. Ah, chill out, Peter. You know what always calms me down? Singing a good old Roy Rogers tune. I'm an old cow hat. Sing it with me, Peter. No, it's ridiculous. I'm a You idiots! Bruce and I faked my death as part of an elaborate ruse to scare you away and to take credit for the script that you wrote. Bruce liked our script? No! But he wants to use the title. And perhaps that thing you said when you came crashing down to the floor. Now, I have one final memo for you. Notice of immediate termination. Okay, Norman, you gotta have some sort of skill set for this. Uh, I'll just... Interior, conference room, night. Peter dashes over sharp debris, does a somersault past Hans. Grabs knife, stands up quickly and... Interior, conference room, night. Peter dashes over sharp debris. Norman offers Hans a bag of Swedish fish to distract him. Peter comes up behind him. Oh, Swedish fish! You're the worst. 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 Interior, conference room, night. Peter dashes over sharp debris to draw fire from Hans. Norman knocks gun out of Hans's hand and dives for knife. Throws knife at ceiling, knocking gun free from rafters. Peter catches gun and says, I'm shooting the messenger. Good callback. Very good. Bruce wants to use our script without giving us any credit. <laughs>